Welcome back now to our Better Craft Corner with a useful way to reuse and recycle those Christmas cards each year. I know I never want to throw them away. I know, I know. So. Well, here with us now is Juliet Hi. Moores of the owner of Valley Art Supplies in East Hampton uh, to show us how to make them into wonderful garland. Juliet, first of all, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Thanks it for is a me. concern that we have, like, my mom makes these handmade cards, and I feel bad throwing them I know, them exactly. I know, and everyone works so hard on making these Christmas cards, and, and it's, you're watching your own family grow up, your friend's family yep. growing up, and I, I can't throw them away. It's hot. So I've, I have a box of them. Okay. So this year I did something about it. So I took the, the old cards, and my friend lent me this cool, it's like a ginormous paper puncher and there's different oh, shapes wow. there's diamonds there's you know hexagons this is a circle one okay so we so basically you're going to get one of these all, they're made by fiskers and you take your card and you find where you want to cut like i can get that whole family yeah. in there oh. squeeze wow and you have this awesome Pops shape it right out right and you're going to make i made the garland out of using five shapes so it's almost like a little diamond you sort yes. of fold it so and basically i folded all of them in half we'll do this one okay and what you're going to want to do is have your trusty glue gun and it gets really hot so be careful but do one strip and then you add your next folded piece and make sure it's even okay mm. yeah and you so do easy. it you just do it yep, you do it all the way around for five pieces but your last piece i'll show you what you're going to do with that it's it's looks looking at this looks like it would be really tough it's so it seems easy. you just gotta do it you just gotta sit exactly. there for, take the time for, yep take the time to do it so what i'll do is make pretend we did five yep all right so i'm gonna give do their last strip of glue and i'm gonna take my garland my string and i'm going to just wedge it in there as tight as i can and then close it oh wow mm -hmm. you might want to do a little bit more glue than one sure. strip that i just did I kind of did the whole side, mm -hmm. but essentially you glue, you can do any shape. I think I have a teardrop shape in here. I did five oh. little tiny pictures and you just glue them. And every year I'm going to add to our family one and just kind of watch the kids grow up. Sure. That's and awesome. And use these to decorate either a Christmas wreath, Christmas wreath or uh, my tree next year. So if you have a box of these sitting around. <laughs> sure. You know what? I just put all my Christmas cards in a box, too. So now I know, yes. what, I know what to yes, do. Yes, for sure. And this Definitely. is that other teardrop yes. shape that you were mentioning. Yes. And, these are great. And what's cool is it doesn't just have to be Christmas cards. You could mm -hmm. do this at any time yep. of the year with mm -hmm. those pictures. And for sure. And decorate kids' birthday, birthday parties birthday or parties, something. Birthday parties. Even your kids. Yeah, your kids can make garland for a party coming up. Oh. Valentine's Day. Yeah, I love it, yeah. and, and they could go to uh, different stores to be able to get this. Then? Or Valley Art Supplies. Valley Art Supplies. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you had it in stock. I will all. get them. Okay. I actually there we go. love these. These are my friend Cindy's. Thank you, Cindy. And I, um, I, I am looking forward to getting some of these for you I didn't guys. Want to put you on yes, the spot no, there. for sure. <laughs> Seventy Six Scottish Street. Come on, come all right, on. Julia. There you go. Well, we you. know where we will be going to yeah. get some of these supplies we'll for sure, and Thank a great you. way to repurpose those cards. Well,